We're talking three-point saddles today, people. Here we go. Let's break this down as easy as we can, shall we? Okay. We've got the end of our pipe here. We've got an obstacle. We've got something we got to get around. So what do we do? Well, we want to do a three-point saddle. If we had multiple pipes, we'd do four-point because a four-point saddle is a lot wider. So we'll do a three-point saddle to get right around that and then continue on, maybe hit a box or something. So we take our measurement from the center of the coupling to the center of whatever we've got to get around. In this case, it's 24 inches. All right, 24 inches, cool. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna take the pipe. From the end, I'm gonna mark 24 inches. That's the center. But one thing that we do have, though, when we uh, bend pipe, it shrinks on one end. Let me show you an example. Okay, we're not talking shrinkage like when you get out of the pool or when you've been shooting whiskey all night long, that kind of shrinkage. We're talking about like when your dad's gonna crack you in the ass. He'd warn you first with the belt. But what he did, he was teaching you electrical or physics. <laughs> so we're gonna bend that pipe up 45 and see that end comes back out. We, we've got to make up that distance of the 45 degree bend. Easy enough. On a 45 degree bend, we've got to equal that on both sides to make up for it. We made a 45 degree bend. Well, where are other bends gonna be? That's a good question. And at the state of the end, I'm gonna show you on the blackboard uh, our take ups, uh, our multipliers and our shrinkage. But what we'd use, because we have a 45 degree uh, bend here, we'd use two 22 and a half. 22 and a half, 22 and a half is 45. So the multiplier, for a 22 and a half degree bend, this, we're gonna go over that, let's say three inches. Uh, multiplier is uh, two and a half, so that would be a seven and a half inch, am I right? Yeah, seven and a half inch uh, mark. So that's where we'd, our other mark would be because it's 22 and a half times three, it brings us to seven and a half, okay? Same way the other side, seven and a half. So our first bend is gonna be uh, 45 at the center. You ever see that? You ever see those two notches? The first one's called a rim notch. Second one's back of the bend, we're not talking about that, but the rim notch, specifically designed for three-point saddles. So no matter how you put this pipe in the bender, one way or the other, it will always be the center. So we're gonna bend our three-point bend on that notch. We put our pipe in, our center mark of our pipe. Our center mark, our center mark excuse me all you mics out there. <laughs> and we would make it parallel. The bottom of this pipe would be parallel with that 45 degrees. So we'll have a perfect 45 degree center point. I'll show you. There's our center mark. There is our rim notch. So what we're gonna do, grab hold of this, push it down, 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 to parallel with that 45. And I don't wanna see my face in there, just the pipe, right? Let's see, maybe a little more. No, we're pretty much parallel with that. Okay. Ta-da! Now you got me bending down. So, <laughs> now, the other marks, we're gonna go 22 degrees. Just how we did that, but we're gonna turn it around, and we're gonna put it right here at the arrow where we start all of our other bends. We're gonna put, that's where we're gonna start our 22 degree bend. Now, most important thing to do is make sure it's not dogged. Line it up center, so one way or the other. Center, you look down the center part of it, and I'll show you something else. If, if you don't feel confident about making this uh, without a dog that you you need a little, a little help in hand, I'll show you something in a second here. But we do our second mark. The front of the, the bender points towards the center, okay? So we're gonna bend this down, make sure that we're centered that, make sure that we're good. We're gonna bend this one down to our 22 and a half degree, right? We're gonna do the same thing with the other side of it. Put the front of it towards the work, towards the center of it, line it up, look down it, make sure that it's centered, so there's no dog leg in it. Okay, same thing, 22 and a half. That's where we are. Next, we find a straight edge, see if we're right on the money. Now, it's pretty good. Um, 
the MT has a little forgiveness to it, so and if you had to bend it out a little bit, if you were a little off, you know, no big deal. But uh, let's see, let me get out my stick rule or old man roll and see how we're looking. Oh shit, three inches on the money. So there you have the three point saddle. Now, so we'll go around it, right on in. Look at that, we landed center. Um, we have our shrinkage. Well, we added our shrinkage. That's why we ended up dead center of that. So now let me show you something what I talked about if you want to make sure that, to keep that dog out of it. You can look down and see if I got a dog or not. Shit, that's just what I have on. Let me show you a quick little tool. It's usually made for like rigid pipe, stuff like that. But if you've never been piped before, it's a handy little tool. This here is called a no dog. Got a little level inside of it. So if you start your, your bend, let's say you make it dead even, and you stick your bender in there and you tighten it up and there, there's where you stay. You bend down and then you flip it over 180 degrees for your second bend. You can line it up, get it tight, and that thing will be uh, dead on every time. As promised, we're gonna dive into the uh, shrinkage and then uh, multipliers and whatnot for conduit, okay? So degrees of bends are your 22 and a half, 30, 45, and 60. We used in this video the uh, 45 and then the 30s, okay? Or I'm sorry, 45 and the 22 and a halves. 22 and a half, two of them make 45. The multiplier is two and a half for 22 and a half. For 30, it's a, for a 30 degree bend, it's two. So if you need a, you know, seven inch bend, you're gonna multiply it times two, that's 14 inches between the bends. That's what the 45, however long your, your bends are gonna be, like for an offset, between the bends would be 45, or I'm sorry, one in 1.4 times the length of your your um, offset, okay? Again, if you want a seven point, if you want a seven inch offset from the bottom of it to the ground, seven times 1.4, those would be your multipliers. That's your multiplier, those would be your marks. Now your shrinkage, for every inch of bend on a 22 uh, degree bend, you're gonna have 3 sixteenths of shrinkage for every inch. So you multiply that on that bend again, a three inch bend times three, that's 9 sixteenths. You would add that onto the end of your bend. So when it shrinks up, it would go into the coupling properly and it's supposed to be pulled back from the pipe. Quarter inch on a 30. So again, a quarter inch for every inch, 45, three eighths for every inch, a 60 is a half inch for every inch. So screenshot that, write it down. I usually use for most of my pipe bends, anything is a 30 degree because it's a nice round number. So I use 30 degree bends for all my offsets and everything else. 45, it's a it's tighter, so it's, it's harder to push that wire. And if you have a few of them, it makes for a little bit of a pain in the neck. And 22 and a half, it's more subtle of a bend. So these are sharper bends, the higher the number is a sharper bend. So the more subtle, I mean, 22 and a half is good. So, you know, just multiply, um, your multiplier is two and a half, so it's not too hard to figure that one out. So there you have, screenshot it, and uh, yeah, just like I promised, right? Pretty quick and easy, huh? Okay, well, you know what I'm gonna do. So, do I need to say it? Taco time. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, hit that thing. All right, thank you all.